The church is everything, you know? It's, it was Cecil Williams' vision, and it's impactful to the whole community. It's impacted my life in such a positive way. I feel like it's the foundation that we're standing on, you know? The church is the tree and the rest of us are branches going for the same mission to uplift and to help the communities. One big reason why I feel like we should keep the church going and fix it up nice because I know when I got back here, I was going through a lot of things, uh, a lot of changes in my life, uh, a lot of anger and things like that. And I know me, since I've been working on Sundays, the church has helped me a lot, just listen to the word, listen to the music and things like that. It's a community that needs healing. So that's what the Glide Church means to me. And it's a safe haven. It's a beacon of hope a beacon of prosperity and progress because it's been here for so long and it's still standing through all the trials and tribulations that that, that have been going on. This church deserves some love for all the love that this church has given. I mean, look around you. What has happened here? It deserves some new paint. It deserves the stained glass windows getting repaired. It deserves a new elevator. For all the people and souls that this church has given and poured into, we're pouring some love back into it. That room is chock full of prayers, prayers of decades of people who are yearning to hope and to heal, and that space regularly delivers. The, the church building, um, as we know it, is an icon. It's a anchor within our community. It is a, a beacon of light, of hope. Um, for those people who need help. They know where to find us by the steeple of that church. And, you know, Jan and Cecil brought that church alive um, in the 60s um, and for the last 60 years. And so for us to reinvest in it, to, um, to make it sound structurally, to make it beautiful, to make it um, the pristine spiritual space that it deserves to be is so important for um, our work going forward. 1929, Glide started. The wonderful generosity of Lizzie Glide and her vision for supporting young women and children back then and the church, the spiritual door, um, became this iconic organization, iconic institution, and then Glide began. And here we are 95 years later ready to renovate, upgrade, uh, you know, build our infrastructure out, secure up the safety and earthquake preparedness on this building so it can be here for the next hundred years. We are so excited to launch this church capital campaign to beautify and to make contemporary this church and this movement. And I know it feels like, oh, they're raising money for doors and for windows and for floors, but you have to understand that these doors have been opened a million times by people coming into these sanctuaries. These floors have been danced on and prayed on for over a hundred years. You know, these, these walls have absorbed so many stories of the sanctuary. We need now to dust off the walls, to make present and contemporary the, the furnishings of this building so we can continue to seat and to welcome and to express and project all the new stories that are coming because this is the work of the church we always know that the poor will always be with you is what the bible says so we know that beyond the fentanyl crisis there is probably another crisis coming and there's always going to be a crisis of faith and broken spirits and we need a place for folks to have a transformational experience and that begins in large part by giving people a space that they can be proud to be in where they can begin to think about what beauty means in their lives that we become the sanctuary that can hold all of these thoughts and become the building that people feel good to walk by you know right now you know sometimes you feel like you have to run by certain corners of this building but imagine this place lit and painted and beautified and you know your way home by Glide Memorial Church so come with us on this journey it is for you and it could also be by you as well thank you so much for your gifts and for going on this journey with us